Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ghost back with another video and by the name of the or by the title of this video, uh today we're just gonna be making a uh Discord uh Roblox verification um bot. Uh this is going to be a separate bot. It's gonna be a little different. Um so we're gonna go ahead and make a new verification robot or rbx verify we we'll make a new bot and uh we don't need to do any of this we could make a nice we could pick an icon um yeah we just put this doesn't really matter and now we're going to add a bot and then we're gonna come down here we're gonna copy that and then we're going to copy the client ID and then this link will be in the description down below but we're going to paste that link into here come back copy our client ID paste our client ID back into this bring this over to this and let's see what discord I want to add this into Okay, I'll make a new server real quick. Actually, no. Hold on. Okay. Let's do, um... Hmm. Okay. Um... Where is it? Right here. I'm human. Okay, so now we have my bot in my server. What this it was this is just an old discord so don't worry don't worry about it we do bot we're gonna give this bot and we're gonna make sure that has administrator permissions as well we'll scroll down administrator save changes exit okay so now that that's out of the way and we have added our bot to our discord we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a new folder i'm going to just name this rbx verify and inside here we're going to open powershell and we're just going to install slappy slappy is an easier way to make a command slash event handler um basically it eliminates the purpose and annoyance of trying to make a command and event handler so instead of doing that you can make one with a simple command and slappy will generate a base structure for your next discord project so we already are in my folder and now all we have to do to install it is npm install and I'm going to install this globally and I'm going to install slappy. So we're going to let that load uh, for right now. It shouldn't take too long. So we should have slappy installed into my package. Okay, that's weird. Uh, let's do... Um, Let's do CD RBX verify. Okay. Let me make a new folder. RBX verify. And now we'll do CD RBX verify. Okay, right, now we're inside my folder and we're gonna do install again. It's been a minute since I made a Discord bot, so please excuse my little uh you know okay that's what we want to see there we go and now we're going to do um we're gonna run slappy we're not gonna run slappy slappy shen command what is this doing? Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going just I'm going to just add a text document into here, and inside here we're gonna edit this to say command exe, and then we're gonna right click on this rename, and we're gonna do dot bat. Yes. Now in order to view this um, like dot bat dot json um, dot txt dot log dot txt uh, just come up to here view and click file name extensions so once that's done we're going to come into here like so we're going to start slappy there we go and we're going to create a new project and we do rbx verify and we run the javascript and we do npm and let me get my token really quick uh bot copy paste and uh, prefix would do the dash and now that's going to set up my bot all right so once we have slappy done we're going to go ahead and do slappy and we're going to do generate command and what happened here make sure you're inside a slappy project okay uh cd rbx verify Okay, now we gotta do slappy generate command verify and then verification and now we could do code dot we could actually close this out and we can go ahead and open this up so now we're inside of our Visual Studio Code, and we're actually going to install FS real quick. So we'll do npm install FS as our save. We're not going to need it, but I have an idea for what I want to use it for. So we're just going to keep it like that. So now, once we are done with this, we're going to want to go into our source commands, verification, and then we'll go into our verify command. So this is what we're going to have to do. Let's first off, let me open up the Slappy. Um, I have to figure out what the package, uh, was it no blocks? I think it was no blocks. Yeah, so we're going to install no blocks. No blocks, uh, I'm not going to read it. I'll put the link for this down in the description down below and you could download this. Uh, shout out to Sufi, uh, Safi and uh, Nestor for making this. Uh, package, but we're going to do npm install no blocks.js save, and that's going to install our no blocks package. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to come over here. We're going to put this to async, and we're going to do const discord equals require discord.js. You don't need to add this, but I'm only adding this because I will be making a embed uh, for the verification. And for this, we're going to do no blocks equals require no blocks.js. And we're going to make sure to close that off. So now we're going to come down here, delete this. Actually, let's do um, npm run dev. Let's make sure our bot will come online here. And as you guys can see, our bot's online. And now we're going to start our code. So we're going to actually, let's run, let's go, um, let's create a new channel, name it commands. And we'll run verify, verify. And as you can see, our bot responds with verify command works because we have the message that channel assign verify command works but we're going to take this out and we're going to do let rows equals require actually no 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 we're not going to do that we're going to do something else um let's come down we'll do function send verification message title description 
color. So we'll open that up and then we'll do a conf embed equals new discord dot message embed. And we'll do that we'll do set author. We'll do um, RBX verify. You can put that to whatever. I'm just putting it uh, to the name of my bot or the bot that we're using. We'll do um, title. Then we'll do that set color. Color. That set footer. Uh, this prompt will cancel in two minutes. And that's why I downloaded FS. So we can have a limited time. And then we're going to do message.channel.send embed. Now we're going to come down. We do message.channel.send. And we'll do uh, stars because Discord. Uh, if you want something to be in bold, you're going to do two stars. So we'll do starting verification process. We'll do a couple dots, close that off. And then we'll do that then. Edited message arrow function. Open that. We'll do uh, edited message dot edit. We'll do Await in prompt like so. Then we'll do edited message, edited message dot delete. Then we'll come down, function generate. And now, what this is going to do is this is what's going to generate. Um, the random stuff that the boss gonna have you put in your profile in order for you to become verified. So to start with that, we're gonna do let text equal uh, that. And then we do let random stuff equal. And this could literally be anything you want. So we'll do art, uh, sleep, video, computer, games, code, wow. And then you could do more than one by putting a comma. we we'll do I, um, dinner, cat, fish, person, walk, grass, or green. <clears throat> and we'll do another one and we'll do what, how, when, where, why, cow, um, hmm, obby, and then we just close that off. Then we'll do a text plus or equals plus equals random stuff. We'll do math dot four math dot random and basically what this is doing is going to randomize what we use or what is given random stuff dot life so what we just did there is that we did math dot random so when we run the verification command it's going to randomize any one of these three prompts that we just made to have us put it in. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll show you guys towards the end of this video uh, what I mean. And we'll do return text, we'll come down, const filter equals m. Um, then we'll do an uh, arrow function uh, m.author.id equals message.author.id const collector equals message dot channel dot send or dot create message collector filter comma open that now we do max one 
comma. Make sure you add the comma, or it's gonna give you an error. Max matches equals one, comma, time. You're gonna have a hundred and uh, I think it's 120,000 for two minutes because time runs differently. I don't know. Errors. The only error you could get uh, from this is the time uh, because time expiration ran out. So now we're going to come down and we do const embed equals new discord message embed. We do that set title. We do verification process. That set description. And I'm gonna just copy a question mark emoji from Discord. I'm just gonna paste that into here. And we're gonna do what is your Roblox username and we'll do that set color blue Get a nice little blue color do that set footer this prompt will cancel in two minutes come down that set timestamp and bam. Okay. So now that we made our verification or the beginning of our verification embed, I'll come down and we'll do message.channel.send embed. Then we'll do collector.on. We'll do collect and and we'll run an arrow function, open this, and we'll say if m.content dot two lower case. Mm. And we'll do equal to cancel. And then we'll do send verification message prompt. And then we'll do cancel the verification prompt. Then we'll do another comma and we'll do red to set the color. Then we'll do a return. We'll come down. And now we're going to do, we're going to use no box here, our package. We're going to get the ID from username. We're going to copy the content. From that and then if we found the user we want to do const user ID equals found user const string equals generate and after that we do some verification message We'll do back ticks, hello, money sign squiggly lines, and dot content, and then we'll come out. We'll do comma, out of the back ticks. Then we'll do to verify that you own this account. Please put this in your Roblox blurb or status and we do uh, backslash n uh, twice then we do back ticks S or back ticks fuck me um we do back ticks quotes we do plus string plus and we'll close this off to back ticks then we do backslash n, backslash n, when you have, um, all right, when you have completed this, comma, say, 
done. Then we'll do backslash n again. If you wish to cancel the verification process, comma, say cancel. Then we'll stop that, come out here, comma, and we'll change this color to blue. Then we'll come down. Now we're going to run a second collector, and we're going to do const collector2 equals message dot channel dot create message collector filter comma comma thank you we we'll do actually you know what we could do we just copy this paste it down here and then you don't want to change any of that and then we'll come down here we'll do collector two dot on collect comma async message arrow function and then we'll open this up and now inside of here this is where we're going to run our verification uh, most 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 of the verification um, process because we already defined the embeds for it but now we actually have to send it so send it and make sure the player gets verified because of that uh, so we're going to do um, if message dot content dot uh, to lowercase equals done and uh, message dot author dot id uh, matches message dot author dot id then message dot channel dot send do back text searching for String on m dot content, and then we'll close that off with that. And we'll come out of the parentheses, same line. We we'll do that then. Uh, async message one. We'll define that soon. We'll come down here. Then we we'll do set timeout function. And we'll do no blocks dot get status. There we go. We'll do user ID. Nope. User ID. There you go. Uh, dot then async status. Apparently, I can't spell status. Status, there you go. And we'll do no blocks dot get blurb user ID dot then async blurb. And we'll do our function. It's like 8:19, 8:20 a.m. for me, and I was up all night, so I'm a little slow. But I'm gonna get this video out for y'all. We'll do uh, if, and I'm also really hot, which I'll actually fix really quick. Hold on. Oh, that's better. Okay. So if status dot includes string or blurb that includes the string then we're going to do await do backticks then we we'll do boom boom message that author that id 
dot username comma m dot content and I'll explain what all this means once I finish uh, we're almost done with this part so it's, it shouldn't be too long message one <coughs> dot edit we we'll do you are now verified as backticks um, backticks uh, quot quotation mark plus uh, m dot content plus quote back to quote there we go then we do let verified role equals await message dot server or guild uh, rows dot catch dot find role role name equal to verified and do await message dot member okay message dot member dot rows dot add verified no nope, verified role wait message dot member await message dot member dot set nickname and dot content okay so really quick i'm gonna go into my server i'm gonna go to roles i'm gonna create a new role i'm gonna name this verified let's say changes exit okay so now I um, was really thirsty. So now we're gonna come down. Not that long or not that far, but we're gonna come down. And we'll do, um, hmm. Let's do, um, to message one dot edit you are now verified as backticks plus uh, plus m dot content plus and we'll do quotations backticks exclamation point boom 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 okay message that channel not send updated roles. We'll do an else here. Else. Do. Then we're gonna come here. We do const updated roles equals new discord dot message embed. We do uh, real quick dot set title updated roles for plus message dot author dot tag. We do dot set color green dot set footer I do rbx verify bot name by the way client dot user dot display avatar URL then we do um we'll come down we we'll do dot set description I have updated rows for and do plus message dot author dot tag then we do come down add fields we we'll do name added rows Added rows. There we 
we go. Value added rules dot join. Inline true. Oh, by the way, we gotta add a comma here. Like that. We're gonna do comma here, parentheses, and then we we'll do name removed rows, comma. Then we'll do value removed rows dot join. I'm going to do inline true. And we're going to add this. We're going to add a parenthesis here, a comma. We're going to delete that like that. Add a comma here. And that should fix our issues. Now we're going to come up here. Then we're going to come down. I'm going to do. Delete this, we we'll do else. Okay. So I fixed this. I fixed the else issue we were having. And I basically finished this down. Then we came down and I added uh, 5,000 uh, seconds, uh, milliseconds. So I don't know how long that would be. I think that's like a minute, two minutes, something like that. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, and then we did else if, uh, if it did cancel, if so we say cancel, uh, we'll say it will, it will be, um, it will send a verification message, the prompt, it will send a prompt verification message and it would change the text to cancel the verification prompt with the color red. And we're going to do verify and we got an error. Cannot find module. Uh, okay. Okay, so all I did um, was I added a rows uh, into my uh, JSON file here. I made a new file um, in the folder, and I added I made rows.json, and then you got rows, and then chief. You could make this anything you want. Uh, I just put chief because I don't know. But I mean, if you want, if you have like a group and you have like ranks, like trooper, um, sergeant, a lieutenant, then you would just do a trooper, comma, come down, sergeant, comma, come down, etc. Um, so we're going to come over here and we'll do we'll verify, we'll do ghost dead man. And now it randomized, so we're gonna copy this. And we're gonna come over to my profile here. And we're going to paste this in, save. And we're gonna do done. Searching for art on Ghost of Man. And it gave me my verified role. And it says you are now verified as Ghost Dead Man. So if you guys did enjoy, if you guys did enjoy this video of how to make a verification Discord Roblox bot, then make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys want me to do next. I'm thinking I was going to do a uh, kind of like a get roles command. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a series or not. This was just kind of a one-time video because um, people have asked me about it. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.